Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games, and a few weeks ago I got to try out the Friday the 13th The Game Beta. I'm very excited about this game and I can't wait till it's released, so today I'll be sharing my thoughts and explain the game a bit in case you're unfamiliar. To start things off when playing online, you'll want to select your counselor. Each counselor has different strengths and weaknesses, as well as you can add perks to them to make them a little bit stronger, and eventually you'll have abilities and clothes. Jason's similar as he has different advantages and weaknesses depending on which Jason you choose. Once you've selected your character, you get this really cool cutscene. There'll be more than one map. This is the only map that was in the beta. You have all of our counselors around the campfire having a great old time. Well, good old purple shirt girl comes walking up. Doesn't realize Jason's right behind her. I love the look on the preppy guy's face there. As a counselor, you'll want to sneak around the cabins looking for items that can help you escape. If Jason's outside, he can cut the power, which will make your counselor more nervous. Do you want to be extra sneaky? Definitely don't run under a bed if Jason knows where you're at, because he will kill you. Yeah, that sucks. You died. You can find things like bear traps, you can lock doors, you can place the bear traps in front of the doors, that way if Jason breaks through you can kind of capture him for a bit. You'll find weapons laying around such as bats and axes and things like that. You can find parts to a car like this car battery. If you find the battery, the keys, and the gas, you can actually start the car and use it to escape from Jason in the camp. You'll also be presented with little mini games when you do this as well to slow you down and make things a little more tense. Different counselors will be better at the mini games. You can use distractions to trip up Jason, like these firecrackers here. There he goes running right by, he didn't even see me. Or did he? You can dive through windows to help escape too. The more daring stuff you do, the more panicked you get, and the easier it is for Jason to sense and find you. If you're really not careful, he will find you, and once again, he will kill you. Blech. Sorry about your luck, you died again. One thing to note is if you go online with people you don't know, sometimes they will not help you or work together. Here's a situation where people are trying to get a car started and Jason shows up. I decided to be brave and try to fight back. I managed to stun Jason. Went to get in the back of the car, and guess what? They took off without me. What a bunch of nice guys. Leaving the girl behind. However, someone did repair a phone, and they were able to call the police. So all I had to do was find a good hiding spot, wait for five minutes, and then escape. You can check the map once the police arrive and see exactly where to exit. I happen to choose the wrong side of the map here. Once you know where to exit, you just need to take the road or the woods. And you can be super sneaky and hope that Jason doesn't find you. Or you can run like a madman and just hope you can outrun Jason if he does. Once you make it to the flashing lights, you're in the clear and you can escape. Let's just hope you guys don't run into a group like I did. And they leave you to die. It sucks. <laughs> Playing as Jason is really cool. Once again, he has strengths and weaknesses. To start things off, you can just search the cabins just like the counselors would. The only difference is you're not looking for items to escape, you're looking for counselors to kill. Once your sense ability is available, you can use it, and if a camper's making too much noise, a cabin will be highlighted in red, or you can even see their body sometimes, it'll show you exactly where they are. You can be a creepy Jason and lurk through the window and they won't even know you're there. Just like a counselor, you can be sneaky with Jason if you want to. If you break windows, you'll scare the counselor, which will make it easier to sense and find them. You can also knock out the power, like I mentioned earlier, this will scare them quite a bit. If they lock doors, you can chop them down with your weapon. And here's a scare counselor trying to be sneaky. Little they know that Jason can see them, and it'll be super easy to kill him. With your morph ability, you can teleport to anywhere on the map. Morph does have a cooldown, but it's a great ability to use if you want to get Jason somewhere fast. Shift is similar to Warp, although it's in real time, where you'll actually be able to move really fast as Jason through the woods, and you can move towards the counselors who are making a little bit too much noise. This girl's trying to fill up the car with gas. We're gonna have to go ahead and take them out. Pop! Sorry about your head, buddy. <laughs> Once Jason's killed all the counselors or they've escaped, you'll head back to your little shack and you'll spend some time with your mom's severed head. 
During the beta, we were able to knock off Jason's mask at one point. He looks super creepy with his mask off. We've never got as far as to kill him, but I've heard it is possible. Some things I'd like to see added to the game is notice the little mini-map in the corner. I wish they would add a north symbol or something to the compass so it'd be a little easier to tell which direction you're heading. Another thing that really stinks is sometimes Jason can teleport right to where you're at the very beginning of a match and you can die within the first few seconds. I hope they put a cooldown rate on Jason, at least his morphing ability, so he can't teleport right at the beginning of the match, give you a few seconds to try to get some footing and find some items. This is a work in progress beta, so they still got work to do, so little graphical errors and stuff like that, those will all be fixed when the game comes out. I'd like to give a shout out to my buddy Lair for the footage of Jason I used in this video. Unluckily so, when I went to record footage for this, I was never able to become Jason. Check the description below for a link to his YouTube channel, you'll definitely want to check it out, he's a great guy and he makes great content, he also does great live streams. Let me know what you guys think of the game so far in the comments below. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you around.